A show of support for a city in turmoil. Hundreds of pro-democracy demonstrators speak out in the Yemeni capital, Sana'a. Striking fists in the air, they chant anti-government slogans, condemning President Ali Abdullah Saleh's crackdown in tires over the weekend. Introducing tanks and heavy artillery into Takir Square against all the lone youths who do not possess any weapons. All I can say is your punishment is with God, Ali Abdullah Saleh. On Sunday came the armored vehicles, tear gas and water cannon. Republican Guard units launched an assault on protesters calling for the president to relinquish power. Witnesses say they used live ammunition to disperse the crowds, triggering mayhem. But most of the protesters stood their ground, lobbing patrol bombs and rocks in response. According to medical sources, several people were killed and scores of others were wounded in the offensive. Pitched battles in pockets of the country now bear shades of civil war. Armed fighters who claim to have links to Islamist groups are said to be in control of the coastal town of Zinjibar. But the government is determined to reverse the tide. Residents say fighter jets have been conducting bombing raids on rebel-held positions. President Saleh's opponents accuse him of purposely allowing Zinjibar to fall into chaos as an example to the world of what might happen if he were to leave power. After 33 years at the helm, Saleh is resisting pressure from his people to resign. Those calling for change, their trademark is destruction and theft. They are calling for change and for peaceful youth revolution, but it is a destructive revolution and leading them are corrupt defectors from the military. Saleh has also repeatedly abandoned an Arab mediated deal to step aside, but the cracks in his rule appear deeper with each passing day, from a wave of unflinching protests to the shift in tribal allegiances, and now an all-out fight for entire towns. Geraldtown, Al Jazeera.